Hi guys, it's Chris with City Girl Homestead. So I thought I'd bring you along with me today to get a little bit of this prep done before Jack comes over and that way we can get just started cooking. So, the first thing I want to do is I want to not dice up any onion. It calls for red onion, but of course I don't have any and I didn't order any. And I forgot to order it, so that's on me. <laughs> Sometimes I do forget things too. So I'm going to slice that really fine in slices. And whatever we don't use, that's okay. We'll use it on something else. No biggie. Because I don't let anything go to waste. I shouldn't say that. I try not to let anything go to waste. How's that? Because <laughs> I really do hate wasting food. That's something that has been in me since I was a kid. The only thing that I don't do now is, like my dad used to say, you eat everything on that plate. Well, that's probably part of the reason I'm a big girl. So I don't do that. Um, if I can't eat it, I give it to Tom. And if he can't eat it, then we'll eat it for another meal. If you're full, you're full. <laughs> and I'm really working on trying to do my portion control, too, so that, you know, you're not eating as much at one time, either. So I'm working on that. I'm afraid to get on the scales. I'm afraid to see if I've gained back weight. <laughs> So I haven't been on. Now this recipe that I'm going to do, I'm not going to follow it exactly. So, you know, that's just who I am and that's how we do it here. Alright. So, I don't know if that's enough or four or not. Let me do one more small one. You never know if you start cutting on them, you know? I think that'll be enough. <laughs> So is everybody surviving this weather? Ugh. I left this morning to take the boys and it was six degrees. I went to go run errands and it dropped down to four. And I think it's up to ten now. It is cold as cold can be out there. Ugh. I did go to the bread store today though. I had a bunch of errands to run. And there's something I want to make Friday, but Jack's not going to cook with me. Um, so, I had to go out that way anyway, so I went to the bread store. And I got three loaves of bread to put in Jack's freezer so he can use it anytime he wants to as well. But I found one of those big packages of onion buns. 25 cents, you guys. 25 cents. <laughs> They're like... Usually $4.99 for an 8-pack, so I was like, heck yeah, that's wonderful. Alright, now I'm going to take these little white potatoes, not white, but yellow potatoes, and because I don't have mini ones, I'm going to cut those into quarters. And if we don't use all that I cut up, I'll fry them up and Tom will have them for breakfast. <laughs> and I'll make him a couple of eggs to go with it. So, now bigger ones like that I'm going to put in sixes. But I got to have enough to do eight packages. So, we're going to do hobo packs today. I have been really hungry for one. And so. We're going to do it. Tomorrow we're going to make something that Jack has been wanting for a very long time. And we haven't done it because it's more on the expensive side. But I promised him, I said, well, eventually we'll get there. And, well, we're going to make it tomorrow. I think. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know how many I'm going to need for this. It doesn't ask for carrots, but I figure, you know, why not add carrots to it? Then you can have like a complete meal. You know what I mean? So I'm going to add carrots to it as well. Then you got like a veggie on the side. Not such a bad idea. All right, that's all I'm going to cut of those. And then if we need more, I've got them washed right here in front of me. I can do them up. Now remember I had that green onion and I didn't use it all. So we're going to use that up today too. Why not? Just a little bit. A little bit of extra onion never hurt anybody. Alright, so we're going to put that in the small one here. <laughs> Alrighty. Then also... I'm going to chop up some mushrooms and I'm going to slice them so that we can actually put them on top of the burgers. I got a second box of them and if we need to I can cut more. So then let's chop up some tomatoes. And I think I came up with an idea. I used up both mushrooms. And we'll see what we got left. And then I'll bring you along to what I'm going to do with the leftovers. So let's get all these tomatoes. These tomatoes are not going to go inside of the um, foil packets. They're actually going to go to use to top on top of your hamburgers. And I have some lettuce over here, but we don't need to chop that up. We'll just pull slices of that off. All right, so there's our prep. I'm gonna get Jack over here, get everything else set up. And then we're gonna commence to cooking supper. We'll be back. Well, hi Jack. Hello. How are you? I'm all right. Missy feeling better? Oh, yeah. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is in a big bowl here, and he's got his too. I'm going to use up half of those carrots. I'm going to use about half of those potatoes. Let's see. Take just a little bit more. There you go. And I'm going to take about half of those onions. And we're not going to need half of these mushrooms. We're just going to do a nice handful. Let me see your bowl. Especially since Missy don't like mushrooms anyway. Alright, and then... We're going to use a half a teaspoon of paprika. A half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half teaspoon of oregano. half a teaspoon of parsley. I'll put all these lids back on. <laughs> I 
because we don't need them all over the counter. That's for sure. Promise, we don't need that mess. <laughs> there we go. All right, you're done with that. All right, now we're going to put some salt and pepper on it. And like I say, we're making this to fit us. Then we're going to take some olive oil, which we filled up yesterday. I must not have gotten it tight enough because it was leaking. And then we're going to mix all that together. Make sure you mix it well because you want um, the olive oil touching everything and you want all your spices touching everything. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> nice. All right, so now what I did, because, um, I don't know what I did with my towel. I forgot to put it on my lap. Now my hand's a mess. <laughs> All right, so what I did... Because we got these wrappers from the Dollar Tree. So what I did instead of making everything in one like this, I'm actually going to make it into one and a half. So what you're going to do is take a nice handful of that veggie mix and put that right in the center. I'm going to do two at a time here, and then we'll have room for the other two. All right. So then we're going to take our hamburgers. We are going to make these into cheeseburgers, but not quite yet. And we're going to put our hamburger right dead center in the, in the middle. Just like that. Then we're going to take my hamburger seasoning. And we're going to sprinkle that over the top. And I'm going to let it be on there quite thick. Because I'm not doing both sides. Now, what I'm going to do is fold this up like this, and I'm going to double it over like that. I'm going to fold one one way and one the other. I've got the oven preheating to 400, so let's do this one. And this way, if I need to make it a little bit bigger, I can by using both pieces like that. And I'm going to fold over and fold over. And they're going to look just like that. So we'll be back as soon as I get all four packed up. And we'll show you what we're doing. Alright, so we got them all done up. Now we're going to throw them in the oven on 400 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes. It says when the burger's done, but you also want to make sure your potatoes are done too. So I found a fifth hamburger patty in this one. So I'll be right back and show you what I'm going to do with that. Okay, so I have that, that fifth hamburger patty I don't need to use today. I must have had just a little bit left and decided I'll just put a fifth patty in there. This is another reason I like to make my patties. Because if I need to use it for something else, I can. And they have that hamburger on sale for $2.49 again this week. So I might get, I don't think I'll make up any patties or anything with it. But I think what I'll do is um, just portion it all into one, one pound bags. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in there. And then the balance of those potatoes I chopped up into little pieces. Well, they're not little, little, but anyways. We're going to take the rest of that mushroom, 
we're going to take that green onion. And I'm going to salt and pepper that. Now the mushrooms and onions should um, bring about a little bit of moisture. If I need to, I'll add a little bit more olive oil or butter, whatever one I decide to use. And then, while dinner's cooking, I'm going to let all this fry up. And me and Tom will have breakfast for tomorrow. All right, so I got all the potatoes, the hamburger, mushrooms, everything cooked together. So I mixed up six eggs and some cheese. And we're going to get that all mixed in with it. Doesn't that look good? Yep. <laughs> and this way nothing went to waste. Let me show you how it looks. Isn't that beautiful? We went to, I went to Horrocks today and I got some um cauliflower and it was on sale for a dollar fifty five. Boy they were small heads, but anyway. I'm going to use it for a recipe, but they had this discount section. They usually do, and, like, I've gotten, like, 25 pounds of potatoes before, yellow potatoes for, like, five bucks or whatever. Everything on there today <laughs> had three mangoes for two ninety nine, and they were really soft. They had to be used right away. Mostly everything else was like that, too. And then I looked at how much to get strawberries for today. They were seven dollars and ninety nine cents a quart. Wow! I was like, "Are you kidding me?" And I mean, just the prices of stuff. And usually, that's the cheapest place to go in town. And oh my gosh, you guys, that stuff was—I <sighs> can't afford it. <laughs> There's no way. And they wonder why people don't eat all the fresh vegetables and fruits and stuff like that because I mean like pears were two dollars a pound you know I mean I don't know a lot of people that can afford that stuff so I would love to eat like that all the time that'd be great but whew, my budget doesn't allow for that <laughs> so I'm gonna let this cool down and I'll put it in a bowl and then Tom and I will split it in the morning and we have Thursday morning breakfast. We'll be back. Alrighty, so everything's getting done. So we're going to prepare our buns. We were going to put the mushrooms on the burger, but we decided we didn't want to pick through one at a time. So what we're going to do is put mayo. And you can put whatever you want. If you want, you know, ketchup and mustard and all that good stuff, then you can do that too. But I'm basically going to make these a deluxe. Whoops, wrong bun. Wrong bun, Jack. Yeah, that's why I did this. <laughs> smart man, Jack, smart man. All right, then I'm going to put a slice of Swiss cheese on the bottom. These are going to be good. Then on the top, I'm going to put some tomatoes. And then I'm going to put a little bit of lettuce on each one. That lettuce, I'll tell you, I've only had it for a couple days and it was already starting to get ugly. So we had to break pieces apart for it. All right, we're gonna let Jack get his arranged like this and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna take out our packets here. So you wanna slide that one back. 
Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. You know, let me move mine this way just a little bit so that, there you go. And we're going to open up each one of these packets. And we're going to slide that burger onto it. Thing. No. Alrighty. Now, if you don't want to use a bun, you don't have to. You can just make it part of the meal. But we're going to make it into actual ham cheeseburgers. And then we're going to just flip that top right over top. And that hot, hot burger should melt that cheese. So we're going to decorate up one of my plates, and then I'll be right back to show you what it looks like. All right, so here's our plates. Here's Tom's. And then I've got his pack for lunch tomorrow. And then I've got mine. So me and Jack, I'm just going to taste some of the veggies, because Tom is on his way home now. So I've got the onion, mushroom, and the potato and the carrots. Mm. Mm. That's pretty good. <laughs> Just pretty good? <laughs> okay, I, I do what the man says. Awesome. They're great. <laughs> so, Tom's on his way home, and we'll get him to do a taste test, but I think this is a winner, winner, hamburger dinner. Yep. Bye. We'll see you in a little bit, guys. Hi, Tom. Hello. How are you? Tired again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is our hobo, but we made it into actual hamburgers this time instead of leaving them in the package. Mm -hmm. So give her a try. And then I took the leftover potatoes and added eggs and cheese and mushrooms and I made up something for us to have for breakfast tomorrow. Really? Yes, I did. So nothing went to waste. Mm. <laughs> you want to try your burger? <laughs> He's yeah. like, this is so good, I don't care. <laughs> It's got mayo, lettuce, tomato on it. What do you think? Good. Nice hearty meal. Mm -hmm. He got two of them, can you tell? But he's a hungry working man, so. Did you eat the rest of your soup today? Mm -hmm. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Cornbread too? Do you eat your cornbread too? Mm hmm. Awesome. I can't crumble that into it. He did. I bet you that was good. Mm hmm. All right, you guys, I'm going to let him go ahead and eat. You guys have a wonderful night. Be a blessing. Be blessed. And bye, Tom. Bye, Tom. Have a good night, guys.